Hi, my name's Jason, and I am going to talk through some of the pros and cons of different microphone stands for a small home studio. I'm doing a series of some of the choices, mistakes even, that I've made in setting up my home studio. So if you're interested in this type of content, please subscribe. So just setting the stage, I mean, the choices for the microphone stand that's best for your studio obviously depends on what you're doing in your studio. So let me just describe my room here is about 10 by 14. Mostly what I record in this room is I record guitar amplifiers, I record the acoustic guitar, and I record my voice. So the main thing that I've learned about microphone stands is, I mean, they're actually not that expensive, but cheap ones can be quite frustrating because it's just going to be more trouble than it's worth. And I think you need more than one microphone stand. You want a stand that does exactly what you want when you want it to do so that you're not fighting with it. The quick summary of what I'm gonna go through here in a little more detail is that I started with sort of the most versatile folding tri-stand with a large boom arm. I think you can do anything you need to do with that one stand, which is maybe why I bought it in the first place, but I struggled with it for a long time before I realized I am wasting my time with this stand. It's constantly a pain to work with. Not because it wasn't a high quality stand. It was too versatile and it didn't do what I wanted quickly and easily. So with a bit more experience, I started to get a couple of more simple and specialized stands to do what I wanted. And the other thing I found that really made my life easier was to just have more than one stand. I have a stand for my stereo pair of microphones. It pretty much lives on it. I have a stand where my main dynamic vocal mic just lives on the stand. And I've got a couple of other straight stands that I use just for various things. So let's actually take a look at some of the stands and why I like some features versus not like some features. So here's my one stand to rule all. This is the first microphone stand I bought. Uh, I've had it for about 20 years. It's a K&M tri-stand with the big uh, footprint at the bottom and a long boom. So this is a very versatile mic stand. You can obviously get the boom down quite low. If you can, if you can figure it like this, you can get the boom quite low to the ground. So you could mic a low source and obviously you could do the reverse and get the the boom quite high in the air um, and the the very wide base it'll take quite a bit of weight on the end of that boom and still not tip over that's why this type of stand can do a lot for you now let me show you what is really annoying about this stand you pick this stand up and you try to move it over to here and now you have to, you know, spread it out, <laughs> which is annoying. So the problem with the tri stands was that the versatility and the stability required size and the size of the base in particular made it so you can't get them put away tight into a corner. You needed extra hands to move them around because they were folding. And if you're working in a small space, the the ability to get something put away and snuggled into a corner, it comes up all the time. Uh, even the boom itself uh, was a problem um, because there would always be, if you wanted to mic at a certain angle, there'd be a three foot boom out the other side that might bang into the wall or your amp or something. Basically after a while, I was like, why am I dealing with this? And I moved on to try other stands. So here's the next type of stand. This is a simple straight stand with a round base and I've got a small bar uh, on the top. I find that this is a pretty versatile stand. And the small bar, it allows you to put an angle on your mic pretty easily. And it allows you to stand up to it with a guitar and play and sing into that mic without your guitar banging on it. And then the big advantage here is with this round small bass, you can easily pick that up, drop it down, you can put two of these similar stands very close together, or put this away 
next to the wall. So now talking about one of the cons of this particular type of arrangement is with the small bar on top, you cannot go down as low as you can with a large bar, which what you'll find with this standard height microphone stand and a short bar, you won't necessarily be able to get a microphone to you in a seated position. So this stand doesn't quite do that job. Which brings us to our third example. Now this is basically the same as the second one, except it's a little shorter. So what I actually did here was I had two of those tri standards um, with the big boom and the big uh, bass. I took the big tri stand bass off, threw it away, and I made a new small bass and I also chopped off the height by about eight inches. So it can still go plenty high because it telescopes up. So there's no problem. You can get it up to a standing position, but because of the shorter first stand, um, you can get that down low enough that it's useful for a seated position. Because it has that sort of short bar on top, you can always get a little bit of extra height. There's no problem. You could record vocals on that if you're six feet tall, no problem. Finally, here is the third main type. This is a short stand, which is clearly not gonna be tall enough if you wanna do things from a standing position, but this does go quite a bit lower. It's got that telescoping bar there, and what I usually use this for is recording acoustic guitar from a seated position. It's just right for that. This stereo pair basically just lives on this stand for me. So some bonus material. First thing, as I'm going to point out, is this. This is a little attachment you can put on to uh, any one of these stands. And it's not too big. It doesn't create a lot of tippiness, but you can get more than one mic on the stand, which is definitely useful when you want to get things tight together. Another thing that's really useful is these uh, goosenecks. Long one or... A short one is even better depending on how heavy your mic is. And the real advantage of these is that you can just, you know, make a quick adjustment. You don't have to do all of the handle or all of the tightening and loosening. So one more useful accessory is a converter from a microphone stand to a camera clip. Um, same reasons that a tri stand takes up too much of a footprint in a small studio, so does a camera tripod. So my camera is sitting on top of a straight mic stand using one of these clips. So that really is it. No more bonus material. Thanks for watching. I make these home studio build videos. I make other gear reviews. I play original music and I live stream on this YouTube channel. If you like what you're seeing, please like and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching.